She's come through as Amata. Marjorie's 94, yeah? Mm -hmm. Wow. Well done. 94, and, and what her, one of her negative life patterns is life purpose. Life purpose means you struggle to find your purpose in life. Does that make sense? Yes. Did you ever find your purpose? No. <laughs> I'm still looking. <laughs> I'm hopeful. You're hopeful. <laughs> yeah. We might find it today. Who knows? <laughs> I'm going to find the second pattern for Marjorie. Letting go is the other negative life pattern, which means they struggle to let go what's happened to them, what someone said, what someone's done. And normally it's big stuff because the big stuff is hard to let go. Does that make sense? Yeah. And, and I think we kind of could see she was still in pain. She was sitting back there. So that's your next uh, negative life pattern that you're here to overcome is let go because hanging on to the stuff burdens you. It's one of the patterns that you do. Is that true? Does that make sense to you? You've hung on to stuff and hung on to stuff? I feel it hangs on to me. Hmm. Now I'm going to look at the um, emotion that runs it. Oh, it's come up resentment. So when we looked at those patterns, Marjorie's is resentment. That's what she's come through with. I don't know if she still feels the resentment. Is that something you recognize today or is that something you've had in the past, resenting or feeling a lot of anger? Uh, ten, 10 is a lot of resentment, 0 is no resentment. What number of resentment do you have and who is it with? 24. So it's 24 out of 10. <laughs> Her father's gone, she's 94, and the resentment began at childhood, yeah? Childhood? I feel like about two years old inside. Yeah. So, okay, so we look at her patterns, definitely hanging on. And, uh, and she said life purpose, she hasn't found it. And this resentment keeps her stuck. This resentment keeps her from finding her life purpose and keeps her from letting stuff go. The most difficult people to work with are people that hang on to resentment because there's a lesson in it. If they've come up with pain, there's a lesson. And I go, I cannot shift this anymore or whatever until you get the message so, so that they recognize that um, they need to work on themselves. So I need people that are open. People are saying, you know what, I'm, I'm ready to shift. I don't want to hang on to this anymore. I'm ready to forgive because this is hurting me. Would you like to let this go? Would you like to be free? Would you like to feel healed? Maybe not. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that's why I mean, whatever I do, I'm just checking with you. Do you want to let this go? Do you want to let it go? Do you want to release your father from your life and take your power back and feel whole again? Yes, 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 yes. No, really. You've held on it for 94 years. Hmm? You've held on to it for 94 years. What, why do you say yes today? I wouldn't trust my facade. My facade said yes. I know, that's what I'm asking you. I'm saying, why are you saying after 94 years, why are you saying right now on my table? Because I'm so goddamn angry. Yeah, so that's a no. So, so that's a no. So the choice is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend another 20 seconds on this and you can sit down or you can stay here. Because I cannot work if you, I cannot work on you if you want to hang on to this anger. So mm -hmm. it's like you say, I want to get rid of the anger. I want to let him go. I want to forgive him. Or you can say, you know what? I want to stay in the anger. Uh, but you have to remember, you've done. You have to make a choice. You have to make a real choice right now. I'm just wanting you to convince me because, uh, as you said, you're angry. And you have a choice right in this moment. You can sit down and hang on to the anger. And stay like that. Who would I be if I let go? Yeah. Well, well, but you know what? Who? You know what would happen if you let go? You let him off the hook. And then what would happen? He's no longer responsible for your pain. That's, that's why some people hang on. You let him off. Also, who would I be if I that, didn't have this? You've had your pain for 94. Exactly. This is you. You're, you're our pain. That's why I really want you to say, I'm, I feel I'm ready. I want you to know that. And if not. I'm afraid. Yeah. I won't know who I am. All right. So, so maybe you're 50 50 at the moment. I'll go, I'll go take 50 50 because I know this is a huge step. You 50 50, half want to release it. Is that correct? Would you say there's half of me that says yes? 
which is still in the profile, you have a negative belief system around families, which would probably indicate if you did get married or had a family, it may have been most likely dysfunctional because that is your belief. Have you been married? Yes. Was it dysfunctional? Of course. What was happening in your life at age eight? A spanking. My mother made my sister and I, well, I, I had to wait for my term to be spanked. And after that, I think I made a vow when I grow up. What did you vow? Hmm? What did you vow? When I grow up, I will equalize this. You will equalize it? Yes. In what way? How? I, I killed her. How? I drove her into a heart attack. Hmm. Okay. So I think, um, is that, do you have resentment towards your mother too? Oh God, yes. Hmm. You ready to let, to let that go? I'm a problem, aren't I? Let's just go back and help her release this, this pain and this anger and all this hurt. And it's come up in inner child healing. So let's imagine you're now 94. Let's take you, Marjorie. You know exactly how that little girl felt, huh? I oh want you to connect to that little girl. Why is she sad? What is it she needs? Tell me what, she, what it is. Frustrated. And what is it that she needs? Understanding. And what else? Love. Close your eyes and imagine you going down to that little girl and say, come to me, Marjorie. I, I want to kill. I yeah. want to kill. Yeah. I yeah. want to kill. Yeah. I want to kill. All right, Marjorie. So you've got a choice now. I'm going to give I'm a choice. That you, we can either send love to this little girl or you can sit down. Do you want to send love to that little girl that's suffering? Do you want to? All right. Yes. You, would you want to? Yes. Make it a choice. Because you, because choose. I choose, am. Choose to love this little girl. Take away her pain. Take away all this anger. Hold her close. I wanted to kill her. Yeah, I know. All right, Marjorie, I'm going to finish off because, because you're hanging on to stuff. This is very, can you see the patterns I'm working with? Can you see how... This is when I work with someone, I'll say, I cannot help you when it's like this. So I'm going to move through. She won't, doesn't want to connect. She doesn't want to release it. And then I would work through. Marjorie needs an inner child healing. She needs to forgive. That's what she needs. And then I would close down. I'm going to close down at the end and, um, of this session today. So Marjorie, I'm going to leave you. And, uh, and and let you have some healing as we continue, okay? Yes, thank you. All right, sweetie. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll take you out of that out of that age. Get you back. <laughs>